Welcome to the latest Libertas video. Today we are going to be continuing our series on creating the left gauntlet of Bayek from Assassin's Creed Origins. Now this is our continued series of creating this gauntlet. So let's take a quick look at where we left off in the last video. We basically had prepared all the leather, um, making the rivet holes and eyelet holes and all of that and test fitting it all together. So now we're going to take it all apart once again and actually dye it with this chocolate leather dye. Quick note, in our previous video, I did not have this piece of leather created. Um, what happened is I finished up my 3D hidden blade of Bayek and it put it up on Shapeways and it's going to be shipped here shortly. Um, but what I realized is the hidden blade is actually a lot bigger than what my um, immediate plate um, was developed for. So this is just going to make it look a little bit more consistent with Bayek's gauntlet that we've seen in the reference material. Um, so that should look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to essentially just be dyeing all of this, this chocolate brown. Um, so it's pretty exciting. It's going to look a lot more like by a gauntlet at the end of this. So I'll set up the GoPro and we'll get started. And that's it, we have completed the dyeing process. So let's take a quick look. Um, yeah, as you can see, nice chocolate brown, very dark brown, probably the darkest that you can get before it gets to black. Um, just what I've noticed with this leather is it can get just a little bit of red tinting, but looks really good. As you probably noticed in the video, I only do the backside, um, I do about one uh, pass with the dye, and the only reason I do that is because no one's really gonna see the back. Um, so there's no real purpose in me messing with that too much if no one's going to see it. So just kind of give it a nice base in case, you know, it flips just a little bit. But um, on the front side, though, I do typically, I did, I think, about five passes on here. So I'll use the roller in a horizontal, horizontal pa pattern as I go across. And then once it dries a little bit, I will come back with the vertical. Um, but basically what I do is I just kind of work my way out and by the time I get done with everything, at least one pass, I can come back and this is dry enough to do a second pass. So that's helped speed up the process for me. Um, I also make sure I get the edges once or twice um, just to make sure when I do the burnishing process that there's enough um, dye in there that it won't cause any issues. So it's looking really good. I think the, uh, look one more time, um, that the brass is really going to pop on this nice chocolate brown. I think it's gonna look really good in contrast. Um, just make it very visually appealing. So I'm very excited with how this is turning out. Um, that's gonna do it for tonight. We gotta to let it dry for about 24 hours and then we'll get back to sealing the product, which will just keep it protected and then also make sure if we start sweating while wearing the product, it's not gonna run and ruin any of the clothes or costumes or anything like that. So. That's going to do it. We'll see you on the next Libertas video.